here to do a oh wow i couldn't help but come on and do a video because i just looked at brian searle uh messages for the night he has one called stubborn chow and he has one called wormwood and you know i was just looking at an article minutes before he posted the one on wormwood and amazingly people look at this article nasa asteroid one and monster asteroid headed to earth on boxing day at 20,000 miles per hour and asteroid barreling through space 26 times faster than the speed of sound will make an earth close approach this christmas nasa has revealed okay very interesting because when you hear his message you'll see what i'm talking about it's all in his message that yeshua gave him amazingly the asteroid dubbed by nasa asteroid 2018 xe4 is suspected to dash past the earth late on boxing day december 26 scientists tracking the asteroid at the nasa jet propulsion laboratory in pasadena california expect an 8 37 p.m gmt flyby during this daring transit the asteroid would make its closest possible approach to the planet for the first and last time in its known orbit and if nasa's astronomers are correct in a size estimate there is a good reason to keep a watchful eye on the space rock okay and I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to let you read it on your own time. I will post it in the description box. But man, these asteroids have been coming up every week. We had one this week here prior. I think it was Monday gone or Sunday gone. I, I forgot what day it was. But uh, this is interesting, people. And if you go and read here uh, on down, you'll understand uh, what it's saying here about this asteroid. Uh, and it's also talking about the same thing that's in C. Searle's message. Really uh, interesting, man. Really, really, really interesting, okay? So I'm going to go and read his article now and both of his messages. And then you can go and decide what you think. And I'm only going to talk about these two, uh, this subject matter tonight, nothing else right now. Tomorrow I will try to do another report. Uh, as I want to continue on LNG White uh, message and also maybe do a short mission report. Uh, hoping I can get to see the homeless people tomorrow or Friday. It's just been, we've been waiting on one more item to come in, but I definitely want to see them and get a picture if I can. I really appreciate all the offerings coming in for that purpose. So uh, let's go here and read from Stubborn Chow. Stubborn Child, it says here, coming from Nahum, Nahum 3, 4 through 6. It says here, because of the multitude of the hordoms of the well-favored hollered, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her hordoms and families through her witchcrafts, behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and set thee as a gazing stock. As a gazing stock. And this is the transcript for this message. My son, here am I, walk in the streets of this mighty nation. Yea, the mightiest nation among nations. Yet I see no repentance from the people, my people. As in the days of old, there was a mighty nation, and it was given the signs and the sun, the moon, and the stars, and with my prophets crying out to repent, which they did. I spared that nation from destruction. This nation, as mighty as it is, is so full of pride and abominations that it will never repent. So I announce that the judgments which began will now be expedited. My son, many mock and laugh at the words from my true prophets and watchmen, just as they did back then. But my judgment still came, my judgment still came, and all those who mocked and ridiculed my prophets and watchmen all perished. So will be, so it will be again, as there is nothing new under the sun. 
and men's hearts are full of sin. Although there is an appearance of peace and prosperity in the natural, fueled by a lion king, all is not well in the spirit. For battles rage in the heavens for the souls of men, and this unrepentant nation does not see. My son, many of my people are deceived by lion spirits that tell them that this nation will be great again. I say this nation will only be great if I can raise itself from the dead and the ashes of my anger. I have said through my prophets what will come up on this nation for its unrepentance and holdems against me. Do you think I lie? Hear me now, you stiff-necked, hard-hearted her- hard people. Excuse me. I will send my rod of indignation down upon you, saith the Lord. You will not repent, but I will make your knees bloody, crying out for repentance. Your land will be overrun by Russians and Chinese, and they will have no mercy, like a stubborn child refusing correction. You will repent, so I say repent now. Get your heart in order. Repent of sin, pride, and arrogance. Humble yourselves now before me while you have this false peace. I love you, my stubborn children, but you have sealed your own judgments. Come to me now in prayer and supplications, and I will draw close to you. Trust no man, only me, Jesus. I am coming soon for those whose houses are in order. Amen, Messiah Jesus. So you see, people, wow, I'm telling you. Absolutely, yes. Yeshua means business. He's not a liar. He means what he says. And so I want you to go here now and listen to this other message relating to Wormwood. Wow, I am just really, uh, when I seen that tonight, I'm like, wow. I'm just like, wow, you know? So I had to come and share it with you these few minutes here. So this is coming from Wormwood, uh, December 19th, today's date. Jeremiah 9, 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even this people with wormwood and give them water or gall, water of gall to drink. Okay. So he's going on down. His message coming from uh, Yeshua is transcript here is my son. Soon the people of this nation will experience wormwood. I have given this generation two examples of wormwood. The first was in Russia at a place called uh, Chernobyl, which means wormwood in the Russian language. The second place was in Japan at a place called Fukushima. Wormwood means to poison. It could land as in Russia or water as in Japan. I tell you this because wormwood is coming to America. My son, when the earthquake strike and the power plant shut down, leaving many in the dark, The nuclear power plants will cause wormwood. All the land for miles around these plants will be poisoned. All the lakes and ponds and rivers will be poisoned. The air will bring the poison to the surrounding areas. Tell my children who live close to the plants to be prepared. Do not fear, for I will protect you and your family. But you must hear my voice. Wormwood is killing your ocean and all fish in it. Now get this message here. Watch, watch out, Tennessee, for you are right, you are right for Wormwood. Missouri, you show me that you are not ready. Wormwood will visit you also. Volcanoes, volcanoes everywhere going off, also causing Wormwood. The great star that will strike the earth will also be Wormwood. And when I thought about the great star, I'm like, oh my goodness, great star? Could it be the asteroid? Could it be this rock, uh, you know, or people? We just got a lot going on. A lot is happening already. We got a comet going through. Uh, we got all kind of things happening every day in the in the skies, in the, you know, in the sun and the moon, and all these things are happening. I know January, the first week of January, I think uh, Bagley was saying we're supposed to have a, um, we're supposed to have an eclipse or something like that, a, a moon eclipse again, a blood moon. Uh, but we got a lot of things going on. And so we need to be keeping our eyes watchful. We need to be praying. We need to be really close to the Father right now. More than ever, praying without ceasing. As I said in my message yesterday, praying without ceasing. My son, the time has now arrived that my children must hear my voice. Just as I spoke in times past and led my people out of Egypt. 
Now my people must be led out of Wormwood's way. Pray and seek me with all your heart. Get in a quiet place and hear my voice. I will lead you to my place of safety. Do not be deceived by those saying they have a place. Listen to me and I will guide you to safety. There is much work yet to be done. And I know that's true. There is much work yet to be done. My remnant be ready to be transformed and bring the light to a dark world. Shout, repent, for the kingdom of our great God is at hand. I love you and I will forgive you. Repent now and turn from your selfish ways. Hallelujah. Love your neighbor as yourself in the days ahead. Do not fear, I am coming, amen, Messiah Jesus. So those messages are so important, people. But when you go and read this whole message here coming from Nassau, you know, if you just go down and read it, I wish I could find where he mentioned those two things in this message, these same cities. You see down here at Russia, he mentioned it here, uh, the 2013 meteor, which injured more than 1,000 people in the Russian city of uh, Selebeki, Belikethi, is believed to have been around 65 feet wide and it did not even reach the ground. The rogue space rock exploded over this town, I can't pronounce it, causing windows to shatter into pieces in a wide radius, okay? So it mentioned this city and it, it mentioned another one that was mentioned in, uh, mentioned in Searle's uh, message, uh, down on down, if you go on down and read it. I know I read the whole thing and I can't seem to find it here now. But I'm telling you, people, we need to be really paying attention. We need to be awakening, awakening and listen to the prophets and listening to these messengers and listen to the watchmen, because all these things are coming soon, very soon, closely to us, people. Uh, you know, Yeshua is like saying we are in the times of judgment. And so we need to be awakened. We need to stop playing around with ourselves. We need to give our life to Yeshua HaMashiach before it's too late. I hope you can get the, click on some, some of these materials and, and, and uh, play them tonight. Uh, when you get a chance, I'm not going to play them tonight. It's kind of late. My husband's in bed already. But anyway, I just wanted to come and share it, to, share it with you real quickly. So uh, I'm going to go now, but I'm telling you, this is so, oh man, Christmas Day. And I told you guys, uh, it was something coming on New Year's Eve. I had in my, uh, uh, my uh, vision I had years and years ago, and I don't know what year, but I had this thing too about Christmas Eve and people was out shopping and these things was coming at, it's like uh, uh, satellites was coming down from the atmosphere or something. And people was dying thousands and thousands of people just passing out, dying. It was a, a misty, uh, you couldn't smell it. It was colorless, tasteless. You couldn't smell it, but it was just knocking people out. And I think Russia was behind it. So it's really funny that he mentioned Russia and China in, in another message. So I'm telling you people, we need to be really, really paying attention. Okay. Really, really awakening up, go in your secret closet and talk to the father and ask what he would have you to do now for your families. Okay. So it's so important to know these things. That's why I had to come and give it to you tonight. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. And so if you can share it fine with others, but I'm telling you, boy, oh, wow. I'm just saying, wow, wow, wow. So I guess we must, uh, Keep calm and carry on. Carry on with the message. Carry on with the gospel. Uh, preach and do what we can do while we can do it. But I'm telling you, make sure your sins won't find you out. Give them to Yeshua tonight. Repent and, and do what you can do because I'm telling you, this earth is, oh, we're going to go through some real things on this earth, this planet. So get ready, get ready, get ready. And I'll see you guys on another video. I'll see you probably tomorrow on another video. Uh, pray without ceasing. Father, help us to pray without ceasing and seek your face. And we just ask that you be with all the people watching tonight. I ask that you cover their homes with your blood. Uh, cover us with your blood, Father. Cover us, my Father. We need your protection more than ever. We bind Satan and all these evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. We bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way. And we thank you so much, Father, for your Holy Spirit to cover your people, to let your fire fall, Father, let your fire fall on your people, helping us to be more than conquerors, Father, for you in these end times. And we thank you and we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Yeshua. Shalom, shalom. I see you guys on another video. Have a great night. Shalom, shalom. Bye. Love you so much. Bye-bye.